Hey guys, Ranger here. Welcome back to another reaction and commentary video, and this is to the 19th episode of MLP, which is uh, the fault in our cutie marks. Now, I'm pretty sure that some people, I'm pretty sure that this episode, er, okay, I think that this episode is not exactly highly regarded as being a more favorable episode, according to um, what I've seen people mention about it. So... Let's go ahead and get on with this and see exactly what this is, shall we? Starting the episode in three. Okay, now, I'm assuming that some of the episodes that, uh, particularly starting from episode 20 and onward, the episodes have really got good. At least that's what I think somebody told me. So without further ado, let's start. Starting the episode in three, two, one click. Oh, she's cute. So, Scootaloo's keeping Petunia busy like you asked. What did you two want to talk about? Huh? I'm sure you get these questions all the time. Oh, she's cute. This is like... so awkward. Okay, they're they're cute. Oh, I, I, the I, I, I really like so their designs. I thought you'd have some insight into our daughter's new uh, cutie mark. What's wrong? Obviously, we're both very proud of her and her cutie mark. Despite its uh, unsettling nature. Unsettling? What? <laughs> I see what you mean. Her mark doesn't bother you at all? Nope. Hey, check out what we found! Okay, I really like their designs. A spiny backed Ponosaurus in our own backyard! And I found him on my very own! How cool is that? Oh, she's, she's an archaeologist. <laughs> What did you think she was going to turn into? Freddy Krueger or Jason? Pirate? Why do you think that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that face. Okay. Um. Okay. I gotta say that uh, the new character there. Uh, okay. The new family. The parents were hilarious. They were adorable. I love them. And. Then the Philly, adorable as well. And I thought it was hilarious that her cutie mark was that. Um, it was really cool. And I thought it was interesting that they were actually confiding in or confining in the CMCs for insight. That was really cool. I love that. It was really cool. Intervention. Really? Cool. Yep. Everywhere you look, there's a pony we've helped find a purpose. <laughs> hey, call back. You got Derpy. it. We've had a pretty good effect on every pony since we discovered our destiny. And I have a feeling this is going to backfire. Bears. Could this get any better or what? This is going to backfire, isn't it? Now, it's going to backfire. You do know there will always be challenges. Someday, some pony might even come to us with a problem that even we can't handle. Like, say, a griffin? <laughs> exactly. Like a griffin. But that's just crazy talk. Or not! Whoa! Okay. Is that really a griffin? You're darn tootin' it is. What do you think that griffin wants? I guess we've got to ask her, but aren't griffins supposed to be kind of mean and cranky? She's not. I'm pretty sure she's not. Looks like we gotta step carefully. Okay, I have seen artwork of this character. The cutie mark crusaders! I can't believe it's really, really you! <laughs> mean? Really? This griffin's not cranky! No. How in the blooming apples did you know who we are? You know who you are? She runs your blog! Oh. Okay, um, I know she's not there for a cutie mark problem because she doesn't have a cutie mark. I get this, I think. 
give me a cutie mark? Um, can a griffin even get a cutie mark? I don't know, but I think we should probably find out. <laughs> Do some research. Go ask, uh... So, Gabriella. Gabby, okay? Gabby. Okay, she's cute. Why do you even want a cutie mark? It doesn't seem like a very griffin-y thing to want. Right, right, right! You're telling me. I don't know if you've heard, but griffins can be a little bit unfriendly. Yep. Most we have experience. Each other. And if they do, it's not, you know, yeah. a good kind of attention. As for me, I'm just a little mail delivery griffin who likes to spread a little bit Cute. of griffin-y sunshine on my rounds, which always makes me feel different from the other griffins. Here's an idea. Move. Right. It wasn't until your friends came to Griffinstone that oh I my gosh! actually like helping each other. And I saw something so awesomely awesome. How helping spreads from pony to pony and Griffin to Griffin. I knew then that I had to find out why I was so different from the other Griffins. And I knew the answer just had to have something to do with those wonderful, amazing no. ones on the pony's planet. It's just your attitude. And I admit, Which is I a good thing. Maybe a little obsessed. So, first chance I had to deliver a letter from Gilda, I took it. Rainbow Dash! He's a reference to something. He's gotta be. I'm not sure what, but I like his design. interesting that kind of the role has reversed and now the cmcs are actually instructors in this before they pestered every and i'm saying that um they pestered basically every single pony pretty much in ponyville about how to get their kitty marks and now they zakora twilight subject and I've never read a thing about any creature other than a pony getting a cutie mark but Twilight, Gabby, oh come on I th so there has got to be tattoos in this world Say, in this universe there's got to be tattoos you can whip up to make her mark appear no nope. um I don't know if any of you remember but using magic to get a cutie mark never really works oh yeah well. I remember that oh, right <laughs> Crusaders I'm sorry well, I can't say for certain that it's utterly impossible, the chances of Gabby getting an actual mark are pretty slim. Everything I've ever learned tells me it's just not going to happen. Oh no, poor Gabby. What the apples are we ever going to tell her? Well, you could just tell her that it's not possible for a griffin to get a cutie mark. Crusaders, it's not in the gene code. Or really in the magic in code of the world, we however that works. Let her down. But, what else can we but do? just... Let her be herself, and... So what? Maybe we can't help Gabby get a cutie mark, but we can still do what we're best. She can always move to Ponyville. I'm sure she'd be welcome there. And I reckon doing that is the same for Griffins as it is for ponies, or any other creature in Equestria. There are some people you just can't spread happiness to no matter how hard you try, even if you beat them across the head with a baseball bat. It doesn't work. Uh-oh. Watch out! Oh, okay. Incoming galant hug. Hi up, you wonderful, wonderful crusaders! I just know you figured out how to help me because you're all so incredible! I hope there's not gonna be a situation where she becomes angry. Because I really like her character too much. She's 
got to be related to Pinky in somehow, um, some way. I think maybe that could have been clearer. Yeah, that could have actually. Yeah. Yeah. She's still going. Any pony know if Griffins ever get tired? What do you think my mark will be? A lightning bolt? An erupting volcano? I don't care if it's a jar of marmalade. I know I'll love it, whatever it is. Again, somebody has to be a tattoo. Ha has to be a tattoo artist here somewhere. Go to Nevada, or California. It's true. Twilight's never heard of a creature other than a pony getting a cutie mark. But that doesn't mean you can't still be yourself or find your place. You've already made it. First time for everything, right? And she didn't say it was impossible, right? Well, not exactly. Well, then if any pony can make it but, happen, it's you three. I mean, you haven't failed yet. You know what, Gabby? I promise we're going to do everything we can to help you get your mark. Oh, it's going to happen. I can feel it. I'm really, like, I'm kind of very curious and torn here. And she's off again. Why in tarnation would you promise something that just can't be done? I know what it's like to want something that's out of reach. Oh. Just because it hasn't happened yet. Doesn't mean it can't. Oh. Maybe trying for the impossible isn't so bad. Guess we'll never know for sure unless we give it a try. All right, but okay. Where okay. Does it start? I think Here it's interesting there. Really the interesting. Good old-fashioned Crusaders chart. Wow. First thing we gotta do huh. is find Here. your purpose. No pony gets a mark without one. But oh, she's already but delivering mail and she enjoys doing what it. What are you good at? Do you play any sports? Or like to dance? Or how about singing? I just love to sing. <laughs> wow, I kind of want to just try everything. I mean, I don't even know what to pick. Can you try everything so, from Zootopia. That's what we're here for. Oh, a military drill. Like a racer at the starting line, you're chomping at the bit. You are here to find your purpose and a place you really fit. And until you find your place in life, you're never gonna quit. We can help you find the purpose in your life. Okay, she can also sing too. I've just begun to fight. You're gonna help me find the purpose in my life. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. I I I I really like it. And that run is adorable. Zakora! Okay, watch. <laughs> okay, seems like just what she does best is enjoy helping. There's no harm in that. Okay, so baseball is a part is is canon in this world. Okay. I was expecting Colgate to be there. Or Minuet. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Octavia! <laughs> oh come on. Can we have seen the, the whole ship? That would have been cool. She's got her purpose. The purpose is to help. It's just being friendly and helping other ponies. Look how look how accepted she already is. Now how are we gonna do this? Gabby's special purpose can't be everything, right? It may as well be. I don't know how we find what she's supposed to do when she can do it all. And if finding her purpose seems impossible. We can just forget about the whole Griffin getting a cutie mark thing, which is actually impossible. I never should have gotten her hopes up. I did it all! So, lay it on me, Crusaders! What's my purpose? And how do we get a mark on the <sighs> <hunting? laughs> Gabby. We... Again, tattoo. We don't. Wait! What are you saying? We're saying that since you can do everything. 
doing things so amazingly well, we just can't figure out what one thing you're supposed to do. Gabby, we can't help you. But, but, you're the world famous Cutie Mark Crusaders. I can't believe it. I, I, I won't believe it. Gabby, wait. We're sorry. We're so, so sorry. This is just awful. For the first time ever, the Cutie Mark Crusaders are Cutie Mark failures. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Crusaders. I really thought we could help Gabby. I thought we could help any pony. Maybe that's just it. Maybe we can only help ponies. Or maybe we just plain failed. Failed? <laughs> then what do you call this? A cutie mark? What? You got your mark after all, even though we couldn't find your purpose? But what? Huh? <laughs> she broke. Go 15 minutes. Just, no way. Go six Are minutes left. This is awesome. We're not failures. Whatever we did worked. There's still something. I feeling we can help you, and we did. Oh, we gotta go see Twilight right away. She'll want to know about this. Uh oh. Correction. She needs to know about this. Uh oh. I bet she'll want to write a whole book about the very first Griffin to get a cutie marker of her own. Oh, totally. Um, but oh, you boy. know. I better take care of that before I forget. Here's an idea. Uh, you head to the castle and I'll meet you there. Cutie mark and all. Um, Tuna! Wow, can you believe it? We were able to help her get her mark after all. Come on, Crusaders, let's tell Twilight! Gabby, we just missed her. She was in such a hurry she didn't even come in. Just dropped this letter and zoomed away. Dear Crusaders, I'll never forget you. You really are every bit as awesome as I'd heard. I'm heading home to tell all the Griffins how you did the impossible by getting me my cutie mark. Toodles? Wait a second. Cutie mark? <laughs> you actually got a Griffin a cutie mark for the first time in recorded history? Do you know what this calls for? A full-scale research project! <laughs> to get Gabby back here right away. I have so many questions. Oh, I hope I have enough ink and parchment to document everything. Spotlight! <laughs> Guess what just happened? <laughs> Twilight is Twilight going. She said she was gonna do? That was adorable. Something in this here applesauce smells kind of fishy. We need better find her and find out what's going on. Come on, Crusaders. Keep your eyes on the skies, ponies. Gabby can't have gone far. She's not in the air. She's right there. Doctor Who? Sorry, uh, no time to chat. I just stopped to help this pony get out of the muck, and then I really gotta fly. Okay? Uh, here go! It'll Gabby, wash off. Your friends? Why in Equestria are you running away from us? Running away? Oh, I'm not running away. I'm just, uh, excited to show my lovely new cutie mark to everyone in Griffinstone. You it's a ruse. You mark that's running right off your flank? <laughs> Yep, it's a ruse. That's the one. I guess the one thing I'm really not good at is faking things. Wow, Gabby. Painting on a fake cutie <clears throat> mark to make yourself feel better? You must have been really upset. Sure, I was disappointed, but I didn't do it to make myself feel better. She made, did it to make them. To make you feel better. Because they felt like failures and she hated I seeing them that way. you three thinking you failed after you tried so hard to help. That's why I had to leave before your Twilight found out the truth. <sighs> mm. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with you. I'll just wing my way back to Griffinstone. Thanks for trying. You don't need to apologize for caring about how other ponies are feeling. I'm just sorry we couldn't come through for you. Hmm. Maybe we can. Gabby, clean up and meet us at the Crusaders Clubhouse. Just make her an honorary crusader. I don't even have a special purpose. Yay. <laughs> that face. We were racking our brains trying to figure out your destiny. 
until we remembered how every time you did something new, you tried to help every pony around you, even us. How did it feel when you showed up with that fake mark, and the three of us thought we'd actually helped you? Well, I was really glad I helped you feel happier. So maybe helping is your thing. You might even say it's your purpose. Uh, but helping just feels good. It couldn't have anything to do with what I'm supposed to do with my life. What about? Right? Gabby, finding your special purpose doesn't have to be about being good at something. It's about feeling good about something inside. And it looks like your destiny is a whole lot like ours. Helping others. And you don't need a symbol on your flank to know that. But <laughs> since we are the Cutie Mark Crusaders, we made you one anyway. Behold! Your very own Cutie Mark! <laughs> we carved it to mark the moment we all figured out what you should do with your life. But they look just like yours. You can't mean... You bet we do! Honorary Crusader. You're one of us now. Gabby, today we dub the... The very first Griffin member of... <laughs> Octavia. be completely honest um i actually didn't go into this episode with the highest of hopes but then he, okay not that i expected this episode to be a disappointment it's just for me i'm not really one to go into something <clears throat> with high hopes because me myself i would rather i would much rather not go into something with high hopes and be be blown away whenever hit surpasses whenever hit just shocks me and surprises me I would much rather do that than to get my hopes up on something and be disappointed. But that's me. But this was actually a really good CMC episode. It really was. And it was interesting that at first, excuse me, the CMCs originally, they wanted to try to help uh, 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 the ponies out. And it was great to see that continuation with them trying to help out others as much as they could, as many ponies as, as they could. And then it was really interesting that some some suddenly someone comes along who they cannot help in the same sense that they wasn't able to help um, in the same sense uh, they wasn't able to help Gabby in the same sense that she wanted them to that they had hoped that they could but they still were able to help her out in the end and I think it was interesting that you know it would have been a major cop out if she had have got her cute her cutie mark it would have been way too simple i mean to be honest it would have been way too simple even even it would have been way too simple for anything really just like oh poof cutie mark first time in history never happened before so let's do it now um so i'm really glad that they kept with with the with the sense of rationality and normalcy and didn't actually have her get get her her cutie mark but um it was it was really cool that it was about acceptance and that she was able to find her place and she didn't she realized that and as well as the CMCs that she didn't have to have a mark to be able to to say that and it could be interpreted that it is kind of um in the in the CMC's mind as well that uh, they also kind of that they see that as well as themselves now that they don't have to really have a mark to be able to uh, to tell them what they're supposed to do, what they are, what they, what they enjoy doing. So I think it's really interesting that um, that they did that, and it was interesting to be able to see an another character, a Griffin, 
put into this. It was really, really cool. And again, I'm really happy that they're branching out the character designs, that they're fleshing out the character designs and the backstories and everything, and actually giving a lot more diversity to the actual world instead of keeping it with the simple, with the standard ponies and everything. Um, I'm really glad that they're actually giving a lot more diversity with the different, uh, with the different uh, styles and designs and everything, and actually giving a lot more widespread uh, variety amongst the characters. It's really helping. It's uh, helping. It's really helping to broaden the world and make it seem a lot more lively, make it seem a lot larger than what what it could be, or uh, what was once originally perceived, and. It's showing a lot more of that diversity in it. It's showing a lot more variety with the characters. And I'm really happy that it's doing that. It's adding a lot more depth and uniqueness to to the world itself. And showing it in a much more broader perspective. And so I'm really happy that they're doing that. And I love Gabby's design. It's very cute. And it's very... It's it's a not... The, the two or three-tone design of the darker gray with the lighter gray... And the blue eyes is a really interesting touch. I really like the design. It really stands out. And it's also, it's simplistic, but it's very smooth. It's very soft. And I love the design. And I love how that she kind of has her feathers tied in a ponytail in, in the background as well. I also love her personality. I love her personality and how she has, I love her design. It's very cute. And it's a very soft design in how that it's done. It's not overly detailed. It's not like it's not really bland. It's got just the right amount of it's got just the right amount of attention to detail on it. And again, it's really interesting to be able to see the Griffins return and to be able to see someone else come back. And again, it kind of goes back to the time that to the times they are they are a changeling um, with Gil, uh, Gilda. Sorry, with Gabby. Uh, <clears throat> being extremely friendly in Griffinstone, and she's one of probably only a couple or a few that actually seem really friendly, and she's wanting to help try to spread that kindness, and she's wanting to try to help others, and whenever she came to Ponyville, nobody was actually afraid of her, and so that was really good that they weren't afraid of her, and she was able to quickly get acceptance. She showed how helpful and kind that she was, how pure that her heart was. And so she was quickly accepted, <clears throat> and she now knows that she always has a home there. And she said she's going to try to spread that kindness pretty much to Griffinstone. Now I'm not. Now I know that's. Now the context of this is actually too deep to actually be shown, uh, probably in this show. But I can already say that it's not going to work for everybody. And it really goes a lot with real life. There are some people whom you cannot spread kindness to no matter how much you try. You cannot, you can try to beat it over their head and it won't work. And so not everybody will be able to accept, uh, w w nobody, not everybody will be able to accept that. <clears throat> not everybody will be able to actually be friendly. There will always be those who look down on others, who have a bitter attitude towards everybody and everything and but it but she's just but uh, you've heard that express uh, you've heard that saying saying before all it takes is one person um, so it's it's a really good start it's it's a really good step and again I also think it's really cool that it's showing that variety <clears throat> and showing her being there and showing that with the characters and showing um, her being as helpful as she is, and just showing a lot more to her character. And it's also interesting that the CMCs, and we also got to see an interesting thing, where at the end of it, she supposedly gets her cutie mark. And I knew there was no way, there was no way that it could have happened like that, because that would have been a major cop-out. Like, oh, look, she wanted something, she got it. Um, and then she tried to rush off, and I thought, <clears> hmm. <throat> I did not think, I mean, it just did not seem like her character, that she would have actually painted on a cutie mark just to say, oh, look, I wanted to get something like that, I've got it, and it would have been living a ruse, it would have been living a lie, and it just didn't seem like her character, and it certainly didn't seem like a story that they would have went with, and 
my initial first perception was that she was trying to do that just to try to make the CMC feel better, to feel better about themselves and not feel like failures, that they actually accomplished what they wanted to do. And so it was really interesting. Again, I really, actually, I, I really, I really enjoyed this episode. This was, um, like I said, this actually was a better episode than what I initially, whenever I first started watching this, I really had no idea what I was, what was going to happen. And so, like I said, I didn't expect really anything of this episode. And I was, I was pleasantly surprised. This was actually a really good episode. And and it was a really good, interesting uh, moral, and actually really true. She w was good at a lot of different things, but what she really wanted to do was help. She enjoyed helping others, and she wanted to help others, and it it made her feel good. And at first, she wasn't sure that she wondered if that was actually like her calling, what she was supposed to do. But it was something that she wanted to do, and calling or not, it was it's 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 really important because she was actually able to help and make a difference and <clears throat> she was able <clears throat> pardon me she was able to be herself and be a light in darkness for other people that may have lost their way as well and so again it was really cool to see that and it was cool that at the end that they that the CMC's made her an honorary CMC and it was really a, a key to my crusader and how did they carve that? That looks really cool. I love that design. And so, again, it was really cool. And I think it's really cool that they helped to spread that and that they were able to help her. Not in, in the direct sense that they wanted, but they helped her to see that she did not need a cutie mark to say what her calling was. That it was just helping and spreading that, letting people know that's what she wanted to do. It was who she was. And it was... It, she she accepted that, and uh, others, as she helped others, would also accept that of her as well. And it was really good. Like I said, it was a really good story. It was it was it was a really good moral. And there was also some really interesting things as well going on. <clears throat> uh, the opening the opening segment with the with the parents here concerned about their child's cutie mark. I love their designs. I really love the characters. I love their designs, and it was really cool. The voice acting again. For, for these characters, as well as the Philly, as, as well as Gabby, was really good. I mean, it, it was really good. And, again, I thought it was hilarious. <clears throat> whenever they said that, uh, whenever they were concerned for her cutie mark, I could just imagine immediately the fan art showing something else uh, <clears throat> um, on her flank. And I just imagine what some people would, art, would draw. And then whenever you see the skull and bones... It it, it 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 was cool. Like, oh, they're cons and I thought, oh, the parents are concerned that their child is going to grow up to commit mass genocide, right? Um, or maybe she's going to become the next Grim Reaper, something like that, you know. Um, but again, I love her design and her voice was really really cute and that big bright smile with those big eyes. It was really cool, and she she managed to she found some dinosaurs in their in their yard that was really cool and they found out that she was going to be an archaeologist and the concept that they thought she was going to be a pirate like okay that's actually better than what some others would actually consider um um but again it it, it was really good and that derped face at one point that was hilarious and um Again, it was really cute. It, it it was really good. I really loved their designs. It that 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 segment was actually really fun. And then it was also cool to be able to see some of the callbacks to some of the other things that they've done. We got to see Derpy in the background just hanging around talking. Oh, that was really cute. We got to see Octavia come back as well. She didn't she didn't she didn't speak, but we know what her voice sounds like. So, and we also got some really cute faces with the CMCs this season. I, I mean, uh, this episode as well as some really cute faces with cute faces with Gabby. And, um, again, it was really interesting, and we got to see the reference to, we got to see the reference to, uh, season five, which is really cool, and we got to see more of, uh, more of Gabby's character, and it's interesting, like, to think, well, she's living in a bad neighborhood, like, it's where she was born, but she's kind of living in a bad neighborhood, and I don't know what's going to happen in the future, we might see her, maybe in the future, move to Ponyville. Um, 
but it, it, you know my personal thought on that is well if she can't get other the other griffins or other people to open up and show that kindness to one another then the best thing she could do would be to just move um even if it's kind of her home home is where the heart is and if she can't actually feel joy and happiness around there and nobody else will show that to other people to uh, well to uh, uh, other griffins then I would have to say her best bet would be to move to from there and move move to Ponyville or somewhere else where there are other friendlier people because it's like <clears throat> it's like trying to be it could be suffocating uh, to be around all that negativity and it could really begin to <laughs> like your own aura your own aura could begin to fade from that or begin to suffer and so if she can't spread that kindness or try to help others to open up and such then it's then her best bet would be my my personal opinion would be to move because it would begin to make her suffer mentally and emotionally and it, possibly health wise as well as time goes on and we also we do get to see some interesting background things we got to see some we got to see the beach here I did not know there was a beach and I did not know there was a beach nearby so that was really cool to see who knows maybe we might see another beach based episode later on at some point but it was really cool to be able to see this and we got to see other things going on we got to see them her on a ship that looks like a pirate ship in some way I really like that design. I really want to see something more with that in the future. I really want to see something more of that. Maybe maybe something where they find out one of their ancestors was a pirate or something like that. Maybe a hidden treasure. <clears throat> maybe some, something like that. But um, again, and it was also interesting to be able to have this turnaround where the CMCs are actually the instructors this time. Because before, throughout... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. All the way from season one, all the way <clears throat> up through, even to s some points in season five, the CMCs were still trying to figure out what their what what their purpose was. They were asking every single other pony, every single pony, all the main six, um, when did you get your kitty mark? How should I get mine? And they were trying to figure that out. But now it's interesting because now they have their kitty mark. They know what their purpose is, and now. It's reversed. They're trying to help others, and it's really interesting to be able to see that that to be able to see that complete reversal there. And <clears throat> I think it's also interesting that with the voice actors or voice actresses here, we also got to hear that maturity <clears throat> with how the characters ha 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 have ha have developed with Sweetie Belle and uh, with Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom. We got to see that development. We have got we got to hear that maturity. Not just in the way that the character speaks, but in in their singing, we got to hear that as well. And I think writing-wise, the characters have also shown maturity over time as well. And I think it really goes with their goes with their characters. It goes with the voice actresses as well. So I'm really glad that they're doing that too. And then we also got to see adorable Twilight. Whenever that moment that moment where she thinks that a Griffin got her key mark. And that moment of realization, that moment of realization, whenever she's like, you did what? She's like, just, you did what? That hilarious expression on her face. That hilarious expression on her face, whenever she realizes that it was hilarious. And so we got to see the ador we got to see adorable bookworm Twilight here, and we got to see her completely go complete scientist like, oh my gosh, something a breakthrough happened. I must document this. It was really cool for that. It it it, it was really cute. And so again, I I, I have to say, <clears throat> this was a really a really good episode. I really really enjoyed it. This was a fun episode. It was cute. It was sweet. And we got to see the CMCs, and I got to say, this was a, a really good episode for them. And we got to see a couple, brand, we got to see some brand new characters, and again, we got to see more of the world being fleshed out. We got to see more, uh, more variety with the characters' designs and everything. We got to 
see more. Uh, we got to see different personalities. We got to see just a, a, a lot more stuff going on. And so I'm really glad again that they're doing that because it shows more variety with the world. And it shows them with the world in a much broader, uh, uh, a much broader perspective. And it definitely makes it seem more natural. It makes it seem more real. And I, I, I really love it that they're doing that too. And again, like I said, I really enjoyed this episode. It was indeed a really good episode. So again, to everybody that worked on this episode, Hasbro DHX, everybody that worked on this episode, thank you so much. This was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. So thank you to everybody that worked on this episode. This was really good. And this was a really good episode. And again, thank you all so much for that. And to everybody, again, thank you. Thank you to everybody that watched. Thank you for listening to me uh, to this point. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And again, let me know what you what you, let me know what you think as well in 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 the comments so again thank you guys again for joining me and i will see you guys in the next video that i do take care